All right, so we have arrived to Pendrago. Lastly, you know, they told us to try to come over here, and this is a new area in the game, actually. And um, we there's a lot of places to explore. Well, I won't explore it on recording, but you know, there's there, there, and there's two caves over there. So I'm gonna have to explore those places before continuing any farther after this. So you know, as far as we get here, then I'll go explore and I'll come back, obviously. So we arrived to Pendrago, where we this needed to fucking be, and the streets yes. are fucking Pendrago empty. Is the largest city on the Glenwood continent. The largest city in Glenwood hmm. continent. Where can we find an inn? I recommend the one directly in front of the plaza. Got any equipment, open you skills? Should... I can make it nice and pretty. You know your way around. Well, you know, I used to come here a lot. If you need more, just send me to the Lord of the Land. Norman can be found in a variety of locations. Norman have the power to enable skill effects with the same skill as their name. Oh. Okay. That's pretty good. We got ourselves the Lord of the Land. Alright, let's see what we got ourselves stuck into here now. One of the cardinal's subordinates. I tried to apprehend him, but well, you saw what he was like. His movements were incredible. You could tell, right? It was a hellion. The cardinal's underling is a hellion? Then. Forgive me, sir. He's escaped into the shrine church. It looks like it's true. I believe he was likely a messenger of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can blather on inside. Well, to think that they actually get sick like us. Find shelter from the rain, if you please. Our friends are That's interesting, a actually. And even a seraph can catch a cold. Friends. Not that you could tell, since you can't see him. I like how he hasn't said nothing, just nodded his head. I should have been mindful of the Seraphim's presence. Let us head for the Knight's Tower. Your wife sure is considerate. Yep. That's right, that's my wife. My wife who right there. Your Rose is the He's best girl in this game, I swear. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being married to Rose, to be very honest with you. She loyal. I, at first, I thought Alicia would have been pretty good. But nah. Where is the Knight's Tower? Like, you don't just tell me these things, you just tell me to go. Oh, he's. Wait. Uh, this way? I don't even know where, which way to go because he doesn't even tell you. Oh, this way, yeah. We went the right way. Alright, let's go. And I think the, the malevolence in this town is kind of insane actually so we're gonna have to do something about that obviously and that's what we're here to do so let's fucking you know let's let's hurry up and make it to Knight's Tower real quick which wait it's a chest ooh strawberry shortcake okay let's talk to this guy okay, we can't get this bad without permission which obviously we'll get permission soon but tonight's castle we go, baby. This should be a better place to talk. Did everything go okay? Can we get in the church? I secured the permissions, but after that last incident, I'm afraid we're likely under high scrutiny. So what else is new? They weren't big fans of us in the first place. Yeah, good point. We've got nothing to hide. Let's I'm just really ex like my guy really looks like a swag daddy monster out here to get some some girls. Like that's right. That's how you gotta make your character look, baby. Too bad it means that much more trouble for us. Thank you. It was my decision to begin with, and besides, I've really wanted to see the shrine inside the church. 
There's something about you that reminds me of the Pope. He too would never hesitate to spare expenses for the sake of his people. Oh boy, another masochist. I see. <laughs> I pray that the Seraphim will also be able to rest well tonight. But Captain, it's been three days since last we heard from Boris after his infiltration. I believe we should hurry. Who's Boris? Who's the Boris, man? Be affecting our food supplies, but I shall prepare our famous Drago stew for you. Aren't you the least bit concerned? He's your only brother. I do not wish to burden you with my troubles any more than I already have. Please rest for now. It's a kind of You know damn well. Let's take it. We will. Thank we going to find your brother, man. You helping us, we going to help you. Don't worry, man. I'm going to talk to everybody here because I like to exhaust dialogues, even if I don't really read them. I do like to exhaust dialogues, but sometimes I usually go back to read them too. But, you know, just in case I, I don't. Find some stuff out here. Boom. Wait. And boom. Alright, let's leave. We're gonna go rest at the inn. Sergey sure seems like a good guy. Because he he's given us a chance well, to rest. You know, we've been out. Considering this is a game, we haven't been out for very long. But I agree. In he has what it takes. If this was an anime. They've been out for days upon days, traveling. Issues. So we're gonna take his offer on taking, getting some rest, and from there, we'll see what happens as we take some rest. So obviously, the mission's not gonna kick off until we actually get rest, which I like. You know, he's not. We're not getting our characters not getting pushed. He's giving us time to, you know, do what we need to before venturing out to help this, um, the city. So let's let's do that. Wait, isn't isn't? Oh, here we go. Let's go. Now that was a meal. Uh. Hey, learn some manners. You sure can eat. So can these two. It was surprisingly good. I couldn't help myself. Drago stew. 85 points. My policy is eat while you can. It's been ingrained in me since I was a kid. That's the law of a soldier. Hmm. A soldier, huh? <laughs> law of a soldier. Okay. Soldier, aren't you and your buddies in an assassin's guild? Well, you know, it wasn't always like this. We used to be just a band of mercenaries. Not to brag, but they called us the best on the continent. Is that right? <laughs> you do a lot of things for you. Now go to sleep. Tired. That's it for me. We've got a job to do tomorrow. We do, and you need to go to bed because you're tired. Is Rose's band of mercenaries the one you mentioned before? The Wind Riders, I believe. I think I've heard of them. The tale said just a hundred of them could scatter a force of 20,000 men and capture three castles in one night. That's some yeah. pretty interesting They're shit. A legendary band of mercenaries. It's no wonder Rollins itself was their primary employer. They sound crazy strong. Strong and loyal. To the point that even the Emperor of Rollins trusted them like his right hand man. Isn't that right? It's true. Was true. But then, the Imperial family of Rollins ended up stabbing them in the back. Along with the very one I'm seeking vengeance against. The Imperial family joined forces with Hellions? Is it that surprising? I guess not. People and Hellions aren't separate entities, after all. Very true. They sounded like a force to be reckoned with before being coin. stabbed in the back. That's some interesting power they had. In fact, if the Cardinal's power is somehow linked to a Hellion, things start to make sense. It looks like Rose snuck out through the back. Can't take my eyes off her for a second. Hey, Dazzle! Where does she go? Where is she going? What is she doing? I wonder if someone ordered an assassination. 
Who? And was she asked to do it by herself? Either way, it this was is not going to go down like that. I'll tell you that much. Oh my god. Something. What the fuck happened? She, she's luckily we have Diesel with us. He, she snuck out the back like it was Swag Daddy, sneaky weaky. He's like, no bitch, it don't work like that. Why are you all here? That's what we want to know. Where were you going? Oh, just taking a walk. Thought maybe I ate too much. You don't have to follow every whim that pops into your head, damn it. We thought you might have ditched us to go assassinate someone. Not yet, silly. That comes later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's from someone who lost their son in the war that just broke out. Kill the one who started the battle. The invasion was proposed to the Emperor about a year ago, in documents bearing the name of Pope Nisedra. Huh? You're gonna kill the Pope? Hold on. How do you know someone didn't just use his name? I thought he went missing after all. Maybe. But then again, maybe not. It's awfully close to the time he went missing. We'll have to investigate further. And what if we find out that he's bad? If it's evil, the scattered bones slay it. Even if it's the Pope? The Pope, the Emperor, even the Shepherd. Oh, was that inappropriate? <laughs> How cute did you think you were being? Last part, it's true. It isn't like we walked around all stabby. I moved around a bit, sir. Make sure what kind of person our target is first. Hmm. I think I understand you better, Rose. Do you now? Well, that's good. Look, I, I don't need to understand you better. You're my to wife. Too. Why she bears no malevolence, that is. Because she's as nuts as he is. Rose would certainly never tell a lie, that's for sure. She was always that way. It's in her blood. <laughs> you know, these are so caring the about her. I think it's cute. Just up and start a war? That's certainly not the impression of him we got from Sergei. He's the de facto leader of a powerful country. He's probably got more layers than you'd think. Took a, take a look around the Shrine Church. Where is the Shrine Church? So let's go this way. Because I think it's this way. We went the other way, and that was only to the Knight's Quarters and whatnot. So I don't know where the Shrine Church is exactly. There's a side quest over there, actually. Let's go over there. Um, where are we going? Look, there's a side quest right there. So there's going to be something interesting for, for sure. Let's come over here. Who is this? Oh, this is the turtles. Yes. Give me that. Thank you. Now we got the fucking the new map. Good. We needed that. But it's where's the, the 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 shrine castle? Take a look around. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Um, so let's go this way. Okay. I'd assume it's here. <laughs> this doesn't look like no damn castle, so no, it's not here. Where is this shit, B? Um, I'm right, back up these stairs. Is it this way? It might be this way. Alright, let's go up these stairs, see if it's this way. I don't know where the fuck this castle is at. What is this? This is obviously a castle. A really fucking big one. I think it's this, probably. Well, it's like the biggest, yeah, of course. 
This looks like it's the biggest shit here. Something. It has to be a fucking castle. Can you tell me the names of the seraphim who hold the utmost power, known as the Five Lords? Um, um. Musef! Oh, and Eumacia! Hyanawa and Amanok! Correct. Now, can you tell me the name of the last one, the seraph who's worshipped here at the Shrine Church? Motelis! Motelis! <gasps> That's right. That strikes now a bone Telus somewhere. Is the seraph strikes a little nerve in them. Glenwood continent, his blessing. The seraph worshipped at the shrine church is Mount Tellus? The five lords, huh? Big movers and shakers. I bet Mount Tellus would know something about how to stand against the Lord of Calamity. He's got to. Is he really all that? Well, he's the leader of the five lords after all. You must be Sore. Welcome to the Roland's Church headquarters. I heard. Did you know about my swag swag style? Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> yeah. You know you like the little hair, my slick back and whatnot. I knew you liked that. Definitely dates it to the Everybody like it. Era of Asgard. Glad to see you're impressed. All right, let's go back. Wait, there's a. No, there's a save. What the fuck? This inscription concerns the trial of the shepherd and the spiritual powers he obtains upon clearing it. Could the spiritual powers be real? Bzz, 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 bzz. Be real, real bees. Oh, bees everywhere. Just, Just possibly. possibly. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like the lettering's meant to tell us something. But it's all gibberish. It must be some kind of code. Well, it does involve sensitive info. Maybe there's a hint to crack the code somewhere. Hey, what does the big rock thing say? I'm afraid I'm not really sure. The inscription is written in some sort of cipher, and the key to interpreting it is handed down only from Pope to Pope. So, I guess we'll have to get the Pope to read it then, huh? I sense another upgrade coming, Saray's way. What's going on? Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I don't feel so good. What is going on? What the fuck? It's a Hellion's domain. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Just like when we fought Helldolf. Who's that? No, stop! Stop, game! Who's that at the end? Going home already, Shepard? Who are you? I am Cardinal Fortin of the Church of Rollins. This domain, is it yours? Ah, so you can still move. Why don't you lend me your powers? For the sake of the people, of course. They asked me the same thing in Highland. I hardly think myself the equal of a Philistine like Bartlow. Sounds like something a Philistine would say. Charming, <laughs> but sticks and stones and so on, young lady. Ooh, she's good. Oh, how cute. I have but one wish, to see my empire overcome this tumultuous era of chaos. A task only possible if the people are united. But Rollins is far too really? expansive to unify the people through mere patriotism alone. Shepard, do you know exactly what it is that the state has used for eons to keep an entire country in line? Is it faith? Yes. Faith. faith. <laughs> it is the belief in their own salvation that inspires in people the greatest sense of unity when they band together against outsiders who share different values. Meaning that my church itself should serve as the cornerstone for all of Roland's. 
Maybe should. In your mind. I should. That's right. Let her know in her mind. Who would guide the people? With the name and power of the shepherd, more people than ever can be brought to salvation. Then you should cooperate with the knights. Wouldn't that really be what's best for everyone? I would welcome their efforts if they would simply bend to my will and do as I command. Even if they are a pack of loutish meatheads who can't figure out that their Pope abandoned them. Wait a minute, the Pope just ran away? You didn't have him locked up? I am not a street thug, child. The Pope, Macedra, I should say, left of his own accord. Abandoning his duty to both the Empire and his followers. What, pray tell, would you call such a man? Pretty irresponsible, if what you're saying is true. Irresponsible is one word, and still there are so many fools out there who trust in such a coward. The knights, for example. In order to I bring mean, the people together, he brings hope. Why would they not trust in him? His due punishment. Punishment. Yes, the same punishment that befell those uncivil enough to mistrust me. Then we have a problem. Motherfucker, are you threatening me? The meaning of the inscription. Why? Cooperate with me, and it won't be necessary. I need to know. No matter what. Ah, I see. That's very unfortunate. So then you mean to say... What the... My body! That you reject my vision! Dude, this lady is crazy! <sighs> Oh! Let's go! We're leaving. <laughs> Seraphim powers, baby! <laughs> she ain't she wasn't ready. She ain't been ready. Oh, they stopped her time. What? Her her motion. Okay. We escaped though, that's good. We escaped good too. We didn't get hurt, nothing. So now now we're gonna have to actually if only just for a moment. Oh well I relish this. Oh she's connected with with a seraphim. Oh yeah, things are about to get real interesting now. Pen drag was crazy. Press left on a deep to cast spectral clock and walk around invisible. Oh wow. Wow, that's cool. What the hell was that? It's called the spectral cloak. That's actually pretty cool. That that's a cool ass power. That was sweet. We'll talk later. We've got to flee to the knight's tower.